hi in this chapter we are going to look at how to create a simple custom business object so in the previous chapter i have explained uh, what is the scenario that we are going to build so we are going to build a business object which is going to uh, display as the invoice document so let's go ahead and create the business object so in order to create the business object navigate to this transaction code bob which is business object builder and here you will be finding different nodes as such you have custom business object the business object uh, enhancement uh, of the standard ones and the uh, sap delivered business object so these are the object button in order to create the business object so a wizard will open up in which we are just going to uh, give a step by step description of what we wanted to do and uh, and we are going to complete our so continue enter the name for the business object so obviously we are going to create it in a z name space and i'm going to give the name of the business object as let's say invoice one or invoice demo click on continue now the system is going to ask for a something called as a constant interface so what in this world is a constant interface so ideally when we develop our uh, application functionality what we do is that whatever is the reusable uh, uh, constant attributes or the uh, type structure that we wanted to declare we generally declare them inside an uh, uh, interface which we treat it as a constant the the purpose behind that is that let's say for example you are you are building a a, a big project in which which is a custom project uh, most of the functionality is custom so what you do is you end up developing a different set of data elements domains um, and so on so when you develop uh, different data elements and domains uh, and when you're going to uh, develop such a big functionality you you might end up in huge number of data object and you have to keep track of each and every one of them and you also have to transport them so a simpler way to do it is you create a constant interface inside the constant interface you declare all the type declarations that you want rather than creating a structure in s11 you you create it as a types in um, the constant interface and then you you just uh, use this particular interface so it is easier to maintain so all your development uh, definitions are going to be in one single place so we are going to have uh, have a constant interface and then the framework is going to ask you for the node name so when you are going to develop a business object there has to be at least one node in your custom business object in which you are developing so we are going to go ahead and give the name so what we will be giving is i'll be just giving the uh, node name as invoice header and then this is going to ask me for a persistent structure and a transient structure so like i already mentioned a persistent structure means it's going to uh, store the database uh, data in the database permanently whereas when i'm going to say transient structure it's only going to be uh, calculated at runtime so what you can do is you can just click on propose name button in order to give your name or you can just uh, enter your own name um, according to your project naming conventions whatever so once you uh, provide the name you double click on it and this will take you to the create page where you're going to fill in uh, what are the information that we wanted uh, as part of this particular structure so uh, we wanted to create a structure so one thing uh, remember uh, do not provide this mandate keyword over here because that is something that is auto auto calculated so when you when you define a structure there are going to be a number of tables created as well where the client dependency will be taken care of. so so don't provide the uh, mandate fields over here so the component that i'm going to give or i'm going to uh, provide an invoice number let's say it's uh, belner underscore d 
the accounting document number and then uh, let's say we wanted a customer number so let's say we um, create a customer and in the header information the uh, other things that we wanted is let's say for example a tax number let's say it's a character 10 digit and then uh, a invoice date it's a dates and then we have um, let's say we have a payment status so for payment status I'm just going to go ahead and create um, a data element Let's say we create a character two digit where zero one is not paid and zero two is paid. Let's activate it. And then the payment date. So, so we have entered uh, some of the information that we would like to capture in the header and this information has to be stored permanently in the database table. So based on this persistent structure that we are creating, the, the framework is going to generate the uh, uh, table which we will uh, see after generating this business object. Let's activate this. Go back and we will create a transient structure where inside the transient structure we are going to uh, specify the fields which are going to Calculate at runtime. So some of the fields that we wanted is let's say for example uh, customer name. Let's say it's character 40 digit. Then I wanted to calculate the freight. Let's keep it as an amount value, net amount. Tax. And gross amount. So we have given the persistent structure where we uh, specified what are the data we wanted to be stored permanently and in the transient structure we, we specified the list of data that we wanted to calculate at runtime. Click on continue and this is going to uh, create uh, three things. One is a combined structure. So the combined structure would be the combination of the persistent structure and the transient structure. So whatever the, the fields that we have entered both of them will be combined into a con uh, combined structure along with the key combination. So for that structure, we also have a table type and then you also see a database table, but the database table only contains the persistent structure because that is the information that is going to be stored. Whereas inside this database table, you will not find anything, uh, any of the fields that you have specified in the transient structure and continue and click on complete. Okay, the business object doesn't seems to be uh, okay. It's here. 
okay so uh, our business object has been uh, generated and you can see it over here 